try to um, get pretty for you. Yeah? You like this dress? This dress is made by Pablo Escobar when he was in prison. It is the, the Puta Madre line. It says, De Puta Madre. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, I wore it especially for you because today I'm going to introduce you one of my masterpieces. This painting is called Hidden Secrets. Yes, it was one of my favorite. It was one of my first pictures with uh, extra, with supernatural powers. Yes. Um, where do I start? All right. So let's start with uh, the vision for the initial vision that was in my mind that I wanted to paint was something that I had seen in Yellowknife many years ago in the Northwest Territories of Canada. Here, because you could see it's above the tree line, so you see the round of the world everywhere that you go. Yeah, and so here you have the round of the world with the moon settled, uh, reflecting in the water. And here you have the round of the earth with the sun reflecting in the water. Also, you have some death heads here that are half in, half out, that are people embedded in rocks yeah, that are also reflecting in the water. Again, you see catechism in this painting because this looks like where the lighthouse is. This looks like a painted the lighthouse. And this looks like where Captain Cruz is, the restaurant on top of Captain Cruz. Yeah, and this path here looks exactly like the old path to Coptic Catechus. When you sit in Captain Cruz and you, and you look, look towards Catechus, you can see this path looks exactly like that. Blew my mind when I saw it. And there's a man on the top looking back at everything that's been happening, or a person. Here you have body bags, purple and blue body bags. Yeah. You have buildings crumbling, people in desperation, in despair, in panic, in sorrow. You have a huge person lying across the horizon, there's his back, his arm, his legs, so that's the horizon. You've got another face over here, a big person lying down in the, the horizon with uh, another person laying across his, ch his chin. Here you have all kinds of little people hiding in there, in the rubble. And then the main part of the painting is this old woman's face and this young woman's face. She's a snake that turns into a head. Yeah, she's an older woman. And her hand peels the skin off the younger woman. Whereupon you see the skin of the older woman showing through. And the younger woman, her arm is peeling the skin off the face of the older woman and you see her skin and hair underneath, which goes to show you that on the path to our destiny we are all the same. We're all connected and we are all the same. Yes, um, this one has a very strong physical resemblance to me because I was using my own face in the mirror as a, as a model. Uh, in time I began to understand that this was the Arab world and this was the Christian world and that we were trying to destroy each other but at the same time we were both the same yeah. and, uh, and that's you know something that people don't really want to, to think about um, this part of the painting I did uh, when my husband was in the hospital, he had a heart attack, I was living in Andalusia and I was all alone in the finca and I painted this until like 4.30 in the morning. I didn't even understand what I was painting. I said, Johnny, what are you doing? What are you painting all these people like that in the rocks? What are you thinking about? What's wrong with you? But then I finished, I cleaned up my brushes, I went into my bedroom and when I got into my bedroom, I saw a big face on the wall with a turban and a long beard and he was smiling like very, very evilly. He had an evil expression but a smile on it. And it scared the shit out of me. And I looked at it and I said, what? Who are you? What do you want? And he just stared there looking at me, grinning. And then slowly it faded away. The next morning was when there was the attack in September 11th in New York where they bombed the buildings, yes? And so here you see the two bombed buildings, and then you see all the people in the rubble, and you see all the body bags of the people that have died. Yeah, and uh, I started to understand that this painting was going to teach me a few things maybe that I didn't already know. And uh, 
this painting has a secret. That's why it's called Hidden Secrets. It has a secret. Before I put the painting on, I made a, a portrait. I made a portrait silhouette, but with no details. It wasn't any specific person. It was just a portrait. It was an empty portrait. But then I painted the painting over it. And at a certain light, a certain time of day, usually when you're sleeping, you wake up and the only thing that you can see, you cannot see any of the painting. All you can see is the soul of the painting, the hidden portrait. In time, I began to realize that spirits were starting to use this uh, outline of a portrait to cross the, the frontiers between life and death. I was getting spiritual visits through this painting. As my friends was lying, like I said, I'll, I had a whole lot of friends, like in the past three or four years before I came to Caracas. I had all my friends from the past, from the bartending days, they all started falling from dominoes. Cancer, uh, liver problems, uh, mostly cancer. They died from cancer. And uh, a couple from hepatitis. Yeah, okay, they weren't the most savory people in the world, but they were good people and they were my friends. And like dominoes, clack, 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 they all started to die. Yeah, and, um, and I started seeing them through this painting, one by one. And uh, so anyway, this painting um, can never, can never uh, be sold. This painting can, can, can never stray away from me because this is not made for dark magic. This was made for white magic. After doing the She Devil, I had to get inside, in touch with my darker side. My darker side uh, from lifetimes gone by. Yeah, I had to purify my soul. When one wants to become one with the light, the first thing that you have to do is jump into that deep dark abyss that is to this, this your soul, which has traveled many lifetimes, and you have to uh, eliminate the demons one by one. Only by going through the darkness can you ever hope to find your true light. Yeah? And so with the She-Devil I realized that I had a dark nature to my soul and then I started trying to express it through art in a way that would be meaningful and useful. I mean, I've had experience, when my husband died, I had experiences with this painting. I've written them about them in my book that uh, absolutely convinced me of everything that I believe in. Okay, maybe I was going a little bit crazy. I mean, everybody always thinks that the, the, the creative people are crazy, don't they? I mean, everyone's to think that it's just art, that it's somehow a connection with the gods. But uh, my sister was staying in my house in Andalusia, and one morning she woke up and she was white as a ghost, just like you, yeah? And she was uh, scared. So I looked at her and I said, to her, I said, what's wrong with you? What's going on? And, she looked at me and said, there's something in your painting. I started to laugh, but it was comforting to know that somebody else could see it, not just me. Yes, so this is Johnny Day's Hidden Secrets, my first masterpiece. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah? Well, that's the only one we're going to do today because uh, I like to take one day for each, each piece because otherwise um, they don't get they're due. Yeah. So thank you again for the time and your patience. I hope you're enjoying this. And um, we'll get back to tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow I have something really sweet to show you. Bye. Right. We'll see you later. Bye.